Um, there was uh, a letter this week sent to South Yorkshire Police. I don't know how many of you saw it. It was written by a group of Muslim something of something. Um, uh, who cares what they're called? But some Muslim group wrote a letter to the police this week accusing us of hate. I had journalists write to me asking me what I have to say about being accused of hate. And this is what I have to say about being accused of hate. This, what we are doing today is not hate. Passing around a 12 year old girl among a crowd of grown men to utterly destroy her, that is hate. This is not hate. your seat on a local council and your monthly allowance or whatever it might be than you do about protecting small girls from torture and brutal gang rape. That is hate. This is not hate. This is not hate. The letter also said that we were stirring up division and stirring up community tensions implying basically that we are the problem here. Anyone would think that we had started this. We are a response to hate. We are not the problem here. And I am sick and tired of the media portraying us as the problem. We did not start this. We did not start this. And I can, you can probably guess, but I'll say it anyway. Do you want to know what really stirs up community tensions in a town? Gang raping white girls because they're white. That's what stirs up community Of little girls because they're white also stirs up tensions in a town and our politicians in London ignoring it attacking us attacking those of us who stand up to defend young girls against this torture this day this is what stirs up divisions in this country we wouldn't even be here if none of this would, was happening and it is always somehow our fault let us get this straight we are not the rapists here. We are not the ones who went out and kidnapped young girls and sold them. We are not the problem here. We are a response to the problem. We are a legitimate response and we're going to keep responding until they hear us. And the last thing about that letter is that they said that they want to move on. It's time, they said, for Rotherham to move on and put all this behind us. It's still happening. You don't move on when it's still happening. All over this country, this is still happening to young girls. The same men often are doing it and nobody is stopping it because the same political correctness, the same excuses about stirring up division, which were in that letter, are the same excuses that allowed this rape to continue in the first place, and that's allowing it to continue now. We will not move on for as long as these rapes are continuing. No, we can't. How on earth can we move on? We also won't move on for as long as the police ignore these things because they're too afraid of Muslims to protect young English girls. We will not move on until that happens. We won't move on either until our national government stops importing, raping lunatics into our country and let it We will move on from this when there is justice. When every girl sees her rapist prosecuted, when our leaders acknowledge that we are the victims in all of this, and when they stop, stop putting every other nationality, every other community, every other group over and above the ordinary British people, when that happens, then we will move on and not a second before. to the people of Rotherham. We are not here to cause trouble for you. 
We don't, we respect you, we respect your town. We don't want any trouble. If there is any trouble today, it most certainly will not be from us. We are here to stand up for you. We are you, look around you. This is not Nazi, these are ordinary decent people. They are you, people of Rotherham, and they're here to stand with you until this poison is taken off your streets and your girls have justice and they are safe. Thank you ever, ever so much for coming along.